Hey y'all, how are you guys doing? Girl, it's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. Girl, let me change this. <laughs> I know y'all probably like, what the hell are you watching? Y'all, this is a, this is a uh, Summer Walkers, Nobody Else Slowed Down. It's a YouTube channel, and she uses all these crazy clips. Uh, I'll turn it to something else, but, <laughs> girl, I'm not looking at that, what a, that anime porn, I'm not looking at that. It's, it is so funny, I responded to the um, YouTuber and I was like, girl, I be playing your stuff in the background when I do my chit chats and I know my subscribers be like, what the heck is she watching? But she just slows down famous songs. Um, and being that I'm from Texas, I like my music slowed down. Anyway, enough about that, girl. It is time for another chit chat. We're gonna just jump right into it. We're gonna talk about personal life, what's in these YouTube streets, which is a bunch of foolery. When, when is it not? And part of my personal life, I'm going to show y'all what I've been buying. <sighs> we want to talk about what's been going on in these quarantine streets. Because I, I got back from the store today. When I tell you I had to take, I'm still up there. I am upset with what's going on in my, in my state. People are absolutely ridiculous. Um, and then we want to talk about what I've been watching, which is, uh, you know, a lot. So before we get into all of that, you guys, look at my nails. It's not gonna zoom, y'all. I do apologize, but this is called Charlotte Blue. This is a dip powder kit that I got online. This hand looks crappy. I guess I got from eBay, but this one, she looks good. They're a little too thick, though. That's the thing about dip powder. You gotta be very careful, because they can get thick. But I like, I like, I like. Um, I've now, this would be my third time doing dip powder, doing my own nails, and I'm getting the hang of some things, but I definitely think I need a new set. Um, just because I don't think that these are coming off meaning like they're lifting and so I don't think that I properly um, I don't know I don't know what I did wrong my sister said that I didn't push back my cuticles far enough that could possibly be it which makes a lot of sense so let me show y'all what I've been ordering and let me tell y'all the foolery Phoenix Americans are so entitled, y'all. Like, I get that a lot of these small business owners are suffering with this pandemic, you know, with due to the closures, but we opened way too soon. There are 19 states in the U.S. whose numbers are steadily rising. Phoenix, Arizona is one of them. I looked in our area, there are 40 known cases. There are about 100,000 people in this area. And so I'm thinking, okay, that's not that bad. And my husband looks like looks at me, he's like, those are the people who have been tested. Those are the people who've been running fe running a fever. There's more than likely more, more people who are positive and they just didn't test positive. So, you know, we opened up on the 15th, I believe. No, 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 yeah, March 15th, I believe. Memorial Day was crazy. I just got back from the store. I went to Fry's early in the morning thinking that I would beat the rush, right? Get there at 8.30. Why is it packed? At Fry's Grocery, which is Kro Kroger's. So packed that I had to park in the um, uncovered parking. It was complete. So I go in there, you know me, I'm already have my face mask on. And when I go into the grocery store now, I wear an N95. I'm not playing around. I don't, I have three types of masks. I have the N95s, I have the surgical masks, which un honestly, I already had surgical masks only because I was one of those preppers. I had a, you see this thing down here? You see what these products are sitting on? Let me show y'all. You see that container? That is actually, uh full of supplies everything from medical supplies face mask hand sanitizer seeds i'm not playing i'm not playing like i started stockpiling years ago essential oils uh prescription medications which probably shouldn't matter at this point because i have enough but that's my thing i already had that there so girl what's the point so going into the grocery store this morning half the people in there are walking around with no mask on get back home and I'm like Christine have the people walking around with no mask on she's like are you serious and it's alarming because our numbers are going up but it's beautiful out here in Phoenix for now hot as hell but it's nice so I guess people assume since it's hot the virus shouldn't travel like that that's not how it works well, y'all let's let's move on to some other stuff let's get into the stuff I've been buying what have y'all been buying y'all been shopping like me girl and you know what's been 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 getting on my nerves this afterpay let me tell you something 
after pay. You could literally go on to, if you want to spend money like me, hold on, let me get this box. Let me do my thumbnail. You could literally get on after pay and look up their, you know, what do you call it? Vendors they work with. All right, yeah, let me open this up. But you could literally go on after pay and see which vendors offer girl Fenty, Ulta, more. When I saw that, I immediately logged out. And then I logged back on. <laughs> Mish Beauty, Camille Rose, uh, Kinky Tres Tresses. Oh, yes. And after pay, you guys, is an interest free almost like a layaway but you get your stuff now and you make payments every two weeks oh asos does it too so i'm gonna show y'all what i ordered my camille rose packages just shipped out today and i'll show y'all what i ordered when it comes in okay so i ordered two of the lot of bodies um moisture milk curling style milk leave-in conditioners these are protein free i'm very excited i in all honesty this is one of the in my opinion, one of the best leave-in conditioners, affordable leave-in conditioners, under five bucks. You can find it locally, but I got them online through Amazon because I'm staying in the house, okay? Got that. So, um, like I told y'all in my previous video, I accidentally bought the... <laughs> I, no, I'm serious. I accidentally bought this bundle. I was trying to do the afterpay, but she got all my money up front. That's okay, sis. You know, get your coins. That is perfectly fine. So I have the Kinky Tresses. This is the moisture bundle. This is her coconut mango hair butter. I don't know if you guys can see that. This, in my opinion, and by the way, I've already reviewed these products. This, in my opinion, is one of the best. Oh yes. Ooh, that smells good. Bring it back memories. I love her new packaging. This is one of the best stylers that I have ever used. My twist out was banging with this. I tried to stretch it. Then I have her leave-in conditioner. It's a uh, avocado infusion hair milk. And then I purchased her nourishing hair oil. All of these together, including shipping, it was originally $39. All of it together was $46. All right, let's get into my package from Ulta. I don't even—I don't remember what I ordered. Ulta sells uh, TGIN. I was supposed to be buying that, but then I was like, ah, <laughs> it's Ulta. I can get more than just hair products, girl. So let's just go in. Okay. Oh, I ordered some makeup. Okay. <laughs> Child, I don't need no makeup, but oh, this is cute. This is very affordable. Like some of this stuff was less than $2. Like this Revlon. Is this lip powder? What the hell? I thought this was eyeshadow. What the hell? Revlon lip powder. That's okay. I'll use it anyway. Look at these colors. Good in, get into this. It's okay. I'll use it anyway. I will use it. Then I order, get all, this, all this makeup. And I'm not even wearing makeup. I'm not even wearing makeup in my damn videos. But I ordered it. This is good. They bubble wrap this. Um, I think I ordered some foundation because I was running out of Revlon. Did I order the right color? Girl, you ordered the wrong dang on cutter color. Revlon, I wear 440. This is the old one. But I bought 410 cappuccino that's okay i'll mix it by revelon it's okay i'll mix it i purchased a palette by makeup revolution i like them this one is called velvet rose very pretty some neutrals in there along with some glitter okay Looks, i'm excited i ordered oh i ordered it some dip powder yay I'm gonna do this next time then. This is purple, it's called Forever Fearless. Oh, this is cute. I'm gonna do this next time then on my nails. Dip, powder, and then I ordered some Fall Leaves Fragrant Body Mist. This is an Ulta brand. I don't even know what this smell like, but it was like, it was like a dollar or something. So that's why, this probably stinks. See, some of this stuff, y'all, 
because it's alcohol based. Some, sometimes it smells like straight up alcohol. It's okay. I'll just put it over here somewhere. Oh, the next I bought, I need to put that. I need to put this back because I'm gonna put this in the other room. Um, what is this? Creamy Cocolata. Oh, okay, I like this. This is one of those three in one smoothies. So it can act as a shower gel, bubble bath, and shampoo. Girl, I'm not putting this in my hair. <laughs> no, that's not going in my hair. Um, but I will use this as a shower gel and bubble bath. Let me some good bubble bath. Tree Hutch, Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. You guys, exfoliating your skin is so important. Um, what flavor is this? I just said that. Shea Sugar Scrub. I typically make my own exfoliant. Um, and lately I've been getting like my knees has been rough, but they're good now. But they were all bumpy. I'm like, girl. I don't think so. So I was using, I made a DIY shea butter, shea butter, brown sugar, and coconut oil uh, scrub for my knees. And then I also applied some products from the Ordinary. What is it? Yeah, from the Ordinary, like the lactic acid and stuff. And it cleared up in like two weeks. TGIN's Honey Miracle Mask. I will be comparing this with the Eden Body Work. Y'all, YouTube, we're gonna get into YouTube like right now. YouTube is straight tripping. I have a lot of videos. I have a ton of hair, to the point, there are a couple of reviews that I've done twice, you guys, because I just forgot. How much was this order? Hold on, y'all, let me tell y'all. This order was, they didn't leave it on there. So, every week, like literally every week, I've been getting a copyright ding from an old video. And um, so then I use, I lose monetization off of that. It's happening every week. And so that means my coins go down, which is honestly, it's okay right now because I'm one of the few people, I have to let you know, Angel, my revenue is actually going back up now. Um, it went down for like two, no, 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 for one pay period and then it jumped up and this, this upcoming pay period for me, it went up by a hundred dollars. Oh yes. So I'm doing really good right now, you guys, because I'm, I'm putting out quite a bit of videos, um, you know, like every seven days. So like every three or four days, I'm basically uploading. Anyway, I'm still losing monetization on some old videos. So apparently that YouTuber, I was talking about the one that rehomed her child that she adopted from China a couple of years ago. She's been investigated by, was it Child Protective Services? Her and her husband are being investigated. Um, and thank you, sis, thank you, Sarah. She let me know that apparently she already knew. This is so sickening to me, you guys. This woman was looking for someone with special needs, apparently. She was looking for a child. I shouldn't say someone. She was purposely looking to adopt a child with special needs. So she, when she got the baby, she knew that he had special needs. And the thing that pisses me off about this entire situation is that they have the funds to have gotten this child help. They had the funds, they just didn't want to do it. And I've watched several of the videos from, from people who are uh, adoptees and people who have actually parents who have adopted children who are special needs. And I get that everybody is different, all right? But when you are privileged enough to be able to, to afford, like I think someone said that she went on a trip. Did she go to Bali? Like she went out the country recently with her family. They are selfish. She, to me, she comes off as fake, um, bits of narcissism in, in there. And she, I think she really wants people to feel sorry for her. But overall, anyone who is a parent, you don't even have to be a parent. Let's just be honest. Anyone with half a brain know that the, the person who, who we're really sympathizing with is that child, that poor baby. So anyway, y'all move along, along with that. Um, I'm gonna talk about Linda Land's video in response to Miel. Miel is canceled. We're gonna get to that in a minute. She's canceled. Monique is canceled. Oh yes. So y'all, besides, <laughs> besides, you know, what's going on in the world with the coronavirus, along with, you know, the financial situation, the Dow dropped down like 1800 points. You know, girl, the 401k is not looking that great right now. You know what I mean? I get online, a couple of days ago and I see that lovely T.I. had posted a, pic, a video t 
talking about demon time. And I'm like, demon time? What the hell is this? Y'all, I'm 39 turning 40, but I have no idea what any of these people are. Like, you could put up a picture of Migos. Um, who are these other people? Like, I know the, I know the, the more popular folks. Like, I know who Drake is. I know who the babies. That's his name. I know what he looks like. But I have no idea who Waka Flocka look like. Um, 2 Chain, Migos. I have no, so I guess my point is, is that I'm not hip to even the music. Baby, I'm still listening to Bobby Brown and Pebbles. I just. I'm listening to, look, I'm listening to stuff from 2000 and back. So, when I heard about this Demon Time and how there's artists that are making music called Demon Time. And, <sighs> lovely T, I went into the video a little bit more. I'll link it down. I'll, I'll, I'll link it in the cards if you want a better description of it. But basically, it's like a time of foolery and then late night hours. You know, after 11, after 12, just a time of foolery. But then apparently it got into a little bit about how it's a time for strippers. And they refer to these women as demons. So I saw a comment from a young person and she was like, you know, you guys are really taking this out of hand. Because it was an uproar. Like, why would you refer to yourself as demons? And why would you refer to having demon time? Like, and so this young lady was basically like, you know, you guys are taking too much into this. Demon time just means that you're vibrating on a lower level and we all have two sides. <clears throat> we all have two sides of us. And the demon time is just your wretched time. Let me tell you something. I don't have no demon time. Absolutely. There are some times where I can get out of pocket and I can be ratchet, but there is no way in hell that I'm going to call myself a demon. Do y'all realize that words have there's energy behind that so you want to invite that type of negative energy that demonic entity that demonic energy into your life but referring to yourself and other people as demons it is really twisted how what's considered um abnormal is now the normal and so that's honestly one of the tricks of the enemy to flip these things around to where you're okay with it you're okay with calling your friend a demon. And then you wonder why in a couple more days, things are not going as planned. You know, things, negative things keep happening to you one after another. You know, it's because you invited that into your life by referring to yourself as a demon, by referring to the people around you as a demon. I would not want any of that stuff attached to me, y'all. It is absolutely crazy. I just don't understand this generation. Like, what makes them think that's okay to call each other demons? And yeah, let's go have demon time. And apparently there's these young girls twerking and they're getting paid, sharing their cash app. It's just disgusting. I just, anyway. So y'all, I was I was on the live. Yes, T, I did. I wasn't sure what you were referring to about the meal, but thank you for confirming. I don't, I didn't know everything about it when you had posted the question um, on my previous video, but I did see that live, but I, I really wasn't paying attention, honestly. It was African Hair God Live, and he responded to a video that Linda did. So I guess Linda reviewed, um, let me look it up, y'all. Actually, I can look it up on here. Hold on. So Linda reviewed Miguel's new rice water collection and it did not work for her. And so she was very honest in her review, letting, you know, letting everyone know it didn't work. It didn't go well. Um, the instructions were very vague. You know, she shared her honest opinion about the products. And at the end though, oh, Linda girl, at the end, she was basically like, I feel like this is a money grab. And we've seen this before where, where companies just put out products because they just want some coins, right? And so Linda said that. She's like, I felt like this was a money, money grab. Um, you know, those of you who are product junkies, maybe this is something that you could try, but it didn't work. Baby, her hair did not look great. Her hair looked frizzy. She looked like, y'all remember Red from the Fraggle Rock? She looked like a damn Fraggle Rock. Um, it's just, and Linda has beautiful hair, so the products didn't work well on her hair. It looked like it was starting to dry. Yeah, so, <laughs> I was laughing because Linda was like, Monique, you know better. <laughs> so this is my thing, you guys. This is why, still to this day, it is really hard to find genuine people on YouTube. I can honestly say, there are probably 
less than 10 YouTubers on this platform who will give honest feedback and honest product review. And I'm one of those 10. So hell, there's only about nine of us on here who give legit honest feedback and honest reviews. Um, and Linda, she did did another video. Linda did another video. I don't see it. Okay. Stop testing my gangster with these product reviews. So she was going on and how people were up in her inbox saying, you know, so-and-so is talking about you. Oh, let me go back to the review, to the rice water review. Apparently the owner got on to Linda's comment section. Has she since deleted the comments? Because I don't see them. Because I, I didn't see the video until a week after it was released, okay? So Monique... The owner of Meow Organics got into the comments, going back and forth with other people, left a comment for Linda. She just was not receiving the feedback in a good way. If you are going to be a business owner, especially with amongst black women, you have to be able to accept criticism constructive criticism do not take it personal i get it it is her business it is her baby she probably worked for years for this she worked hard but as a business owner you need to be open to feedback you should be open you should be grateful that linda gave you that review and was honest with you that way you can look at your formulation and switch some things up a bit you know what i mean y'all girl this is why I am not working with any, any new companies. I have worked with a lot of different com uh, companies, you guys. I have relationship with a lot of different companies that y'all probably don't even know. Everyone from TGIN, Chocolate Kicks and Curls, Jane Carter, um, Red by Kiss, of course, Wonder Curl. I mean, quite a bit. I've never had this type of situation where an owner came to me after a review and was like, showing their ass especially on my channel now i've had had a company because <laughs> i'm honest i'm honest you may not like my delivery but i'm honest so i did have a company after they saw my video and they were like um they saw my video that i hadn't released yet i sent them what's called an unlisted link and they basically was like um you came up a little negative is it possible for you to do this over I was like so I sent it to another I sent it to actually a couple of other youtubers and asked them for feedback and one was like oh well and the, <laughs> and the other one was like yeah you possibly could have said things a little bit differently and so I took her advice and I switched to my video I would never do that again I'm sorry I would never do that again um if you want to grow as a business owner if you want to be competitive in this business, you have to be willing to change. You have to be open to change. That's absolutely ridiculous. Linda was saying how she's even, she's stressed out about it, having panic attacks. Now I will say I haven't gotten that far, um, but, but when I do release a product review video, I'm nervous y'all. I mean, I've been doing this for seven years and I still get nervous about it because not everyone's going to be open, you know, to I it. I haven't gotten that type of drama and pettiness, not on the level that, that, um, Linda is getting. I'm also a little bit, a little bit older than Linda. And so, uh, that's not, that's not, you know, any shade by that. Cause I love Linda. She's a sweetheart, but I tend to let things go. Honey, I will leave comments on. I won't even read them. Cause not everyone's going to receive things. How you put it out there. Girl, there was one time where a person was basically like, I have gotten a handful of comments. I've gotten someone completely curse me out. Um, folks are fighting over in the rice water video, but my rice water video is going up. The views, baby, I've made well over $2,000 on that rice water video. Fight all you want. I keep the comments going. I don't even read them. I don't read. Look, after I post a video, I read the comments for the first two days. After 48 hours, I don't go back and read my comments. I just don't because... I have so many videos that I'm posting, y'all. I just don't have the time to do that. And especially if it's an old video. Um, yeah, Monique, you either want feedback or you want coins. And it seems like at this point, you don't care about the feedback. You just want your money back. Okay, that's all she's looking for. So, yeah, y'all. I have learned to just ignore a lot of the comments. Um, I don't take people that seriously. There was one time where <laughs> someone wrote... Um, I don't remember what video it was. I, I was detangling my hair. I do know that. And the person wrote a damn paragraph. 
girl she basically was like this is my first video and this is me paraphrasing because I don't remember exactly what she said okay so she basically was like this is the first video I've seen of you and you seem very angry you may need to check your attitude when you're doing videos so that people won't rub off on the energy that you you know some BS like that and I was like girl I didn't even watch the video several times like, again. Am I angry? I'm like, girl, you would be angry too if you had all this damn hair to detangle. What are you talking about? I'm angry. <laughs> but I deleted it. When a comment is that negative, I typically delete it. I really don't understand why people choose to write negative and nasty stuff like that. I mean, so yeah, I feel for Linda and I totally understand, especially when it comes to product reviews. That is one of the reasons why. I'm only sticking to the lines that I'm familiar with. Um, just, I, I don't want to say I don't want to jump, I'm not jumping on the bandwagon, but I've had had comments where people ask me if I'm going to try the new rice water by, uh, by Monica. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to do it even before Linda posted this. I wasn't going to review it. Um, and I'm winding down. This is, I'm seeing it again. This is my last year doing product reviews. Y'all, it's a lot. It is a lot of work. So enough about that. Linda, I completely agree with everything you said in that video. And look, she may not like it. Keep that video up, girl. <laughs> they may not like it, but that's your truth. And you stand in your truth. All right? So, all right, you guys, what am I watching on TV? I finished Altered Carbon. I liked it. No, I loved it. I loved it a lot, you guys. And I agree with you, girl. I can't remember who posted I like the original bodies and by the original bodies you guys these people have so basically these people can be immortal but there is something called real death when they're stacked a stack is basically this stack of almost looks like I don't know what it is girl um, in the back of their neck that as long as the stack is intact then they can take that stack and put it in another what's called a sleeve like as a damn I'm like a condom what are we doing a body basically um and so the first season was my best second season was great but i do agree with you says i prefer their original sleeves those people were great but i love the the series it's very diverse um and yeah I, I enjoyed it a lot i'm starting to watch the stranger i'm on episode three i like it it's really different um based out of the is it based out of the uk i think it's based out of the uk i don't recognize anyone um, and just to give you a bit, a brief snippet, I'm going to try not to spoil it. There's this group of women who basically go around blackmailing people. They're strangers, these women, and they're going around blackmailing people to get money. And so like the first episode, the father was watching his son. What is he playing? They call it football, which is soccer. They're playing football. So this woman shows up. This father's out ordering coffee or something. She sits down. And I'm like, what is Blue Control doing? Sitting <laughs> <laughs> she's she's very fair skinned beautiful young lady so that's how it spins off and it's interesting i'm on i'm on episode four and i like it so hulu i went ahead and added fargo like i told you and i started to watch it when i tell y'all fargo this is one of those series that is very similar to the movie um i wonder i wonder if they have the same producers it is the same feel they're using the same type of music um even the transitions between the scenes are very much the same fargo is one of my favorite movies y'all i really do love the movie and that minnesota is a minnesota accent is hilarious i actually knew someone from fargo it wasn't that strong so it they purposely make the accent stronger on the series. So I'm, I'm really am enjoying the series so far. Really, really good. I'm on episode three. A movie that I saw that was a good movie is definitely was a gem. It's on Netflix and it's called The Florida Project. Now it's some heavy language. Um, it surrounds this woman who lives in a hotel with her child she's a single mom and she does everything that she can to survive and you guys i like these type of movies this this movie it's like i said strong language i don't agree with some of the stuff that's going on in the movie but i don't have to this is real life for some people there are some people who've had to live in and um basically homeless that have had to live in hotels to survive um there are people who have had to sell drugs they've had to hustle to provide for their children um so like i said it details the the real life struggles of this mom but then 
the real star of the show is the six-year-old little girl in the, in the show y'all when i tell you i'm not going to give any spoilers but when i tell you this baby acted her heart out in the last 10 minutes of this movie i girl i've already been crying y'all now i will say i did say a couple of um chit chats ago that i try to hold it in lately though oh i've been crying over everything oh i just been so, like I told you, I'm an empath. I've been feeling everything. Look, I'm a type of person. I like to know how people are doing. So when I ask you and you're sad and you're crying, I'm going to cry with you. Like when my, when my, um, friend's father died he posted last night i was crying all last night crying all last night i read his story over and over so girl all over the place i do apologize i'm all over the place so when the babies are crying in the movie i'm crying with them you know so that's all i'm gonna say the florida project and besides that you guys i'm on my kick again watching for my man but now i started to watch fatal vows i'm like oh yeah let's get some white people in there <laughs> So, Fatal Vows is all races. Uh, for my man, specifically uh, around African American people. So, anyway, um, yeah, watching some of that stuff. But I've got to be careful with, you know, with that too. But that is it, you guys. This is going to be a, quite a long chit chat. It's all over the place. When is it not all over the place? I see y'all in the next chit chat. Bye. Take care.